Welcome back to week two and our discussion about focal length and power. The most important rule when it comes to optics really has to do with um, a one diopter prism. So this is a one diopter prism. And what the rule says is that when light enters a one diopter prism, it comes to a point of focus at the length of one meter. So we would say that a one diopter lens has a focal length of one meter. This is a really essential rule and will never change. This is the rule around um, focal length and how we are able to determine what the focal length of any given lens is based on the power of that lens. Now, if we are dealing with a plus powered prism, here's our plus powered lenses where the bases are touching and we know that when light enters a convex lens that we end up with converging light and a real point of focus. Uh, that light actually comes together to a real focal point. And if this was a one diopter lens, we would say then that the focal length from the prism or the lens to that point of focus is equal to one meter. And we would say that that is a plus one meter. This is a plus one diopter lens. Now the opposing version is a minus lens. So if we've got our one diopter lens that is this time a minus lens, light entering this concave lens diverges or spreads out. So we would say that this particular lens does not have a real point of focus because those light rays will never come to an actual point of focus. So we actually have to work backwards from our point of focus and create what we would call a virtual focal point. So that would be right here, working backwards from that diverging light. Now, in this particular case, we would still say that the length from the lens to that virtual point of focus was still one meter. But because we're dealing with a minus lens, we would say that this is a minus one meter focal length. But in both cases, our one diopter lens is uh, coming to a point of focus, whether that's real in our plus lens or virtual in our minus lens is still a focal length of one meter. Now this is really important as we work through focal length as it uh, is equated to a lens. Now this is something that we actually deal with on a very regular basis. When you think about uh, how you help a patient uh, when they get a new pair of multifocals, if they have gone from having maybe a one ad to a two ad, um, we would often have to talk to the patient about holding their material closer. Um, and we would say that because if our patient had a plus one ad, we know that a one diopter lens has a focal length of one meter. So that gets held out a little bit further than if our patient now had a change to a plus two, the focal length of a plus two diopter lens is actually 0.5 meters or half of a meter. So our patient would have to then hold their material closer so we see this played out in our regular dispensing and designing of glasses on a daily basis. And there's a pretty simple equation 
that we get to use to determine focal length. And it basically is one divided by power or diopters equals focal length. I was able to use that equation uh, in our formula up top. So if we were dealing with a one diopter lens, one divided by one equals one meter. Or we would say our formula one divided by two equals 0.5 meters. We're able to apply this equation uh, both when given the diopters and asked for the focal length, but we can also do this in the other way. So we can take one divided by focal length and that will tell us the power of the lens. Let's go ahead and apply that same equation then. So this time they've told us that the focal length of the lens is 0.5. We'll grab our calculator, one divided by 0.5 equals two. So focal length of a half of a meter is equivalent to a two diopter lens. We can apply this uh, in lots of different ways. Um, let's go ahead and try a few more. So we'll leave our formulas here at the bottom and we'll try a couple of other uh, lenses. So this time they've given us a lens power of 3.5 and asked us for the focal length. And again, our focal length will be in meters and then let's say they've also given us a um, focal length of um, 0.1 meters and asked us to determine uh, the power of this particular lens in diopters. So let's go ahead and start with our uh, three and a half diopter lens. And let's say that this is a minus three and a half. So we'll grab that calculator again. So we do one divided by 3.5, and that's gonna give us an answer of 0.285 and lots of extra numbers. However, uh, we can just go ahead and round that. We'll go uh, to uh, 0.285 or 0 0.286. So 2.2. 286 meters. Now, in our second scenario, they gave us focal length and asked us to determine the power of this particular lens. So we'll do one divided by 0.1 meters is equivalent to a 10 diopter lens which is why our patients who are a 10 um, have to hold their uh, work so closely because they're dealing with a uh, 10 diopter lens um, in their prescription. So we've got, or without their correction on. Now, in our first example, we said that this was a minus 350. So we would say that this is a minus 2.86 meters in this scenario, they told us that this was a plus 0.1 meters, so we would say that this particular patient is a plus 10 diopter lens. Let's go ahead and uh, on our practice exercise page, uh, they do give us a couple of, of examples. Let's go ahead and tackle number one and number 11, uh, just so that we can work through both the conversion and uh, the focal length question. So on uh, question number one, they have given us a lens power of minus 250. Uh, they have asked us to uh, convert this particular uh, power to focal length 
Uh, they've also asked us to give them the answer in both centimeter and millimeter form. So we need the metric version. So we know that focal length is always in meters, um, but for conversion's sake, they would also like it presented in centimeters and in millimeters. So we're gonna give them all three versions. Now our formula says one divided by power, 250 in this case, equals focal length. So we go one divided by 2.5 equals 0.4, and this would be in meters, so 0.4 meters. Now earlier we did our conversion, right? My doctor collects millimeters and we've got a 0.4 meter lens. Now we can convert this to centimeters and millimeters pretty easily. All we've got to do is move our decimal spot to the right for every movement over. So we would say that it was a four decimeters or 40 centimeters or 400 millimeters. So we've got 40 centimeters or 400 millimeters. Let's go ahead and uh, take a focal length and convert that to diopters. So we're looking at example number 11. Uh, this is on our practice exercise page. And they have given us a negative 0.2 meter focal length. They would like to know what the power of this particular lens is. Now, they have presented us a focal length in meters, so we don't need to do any converting first we're able just to apply our negative 0.2 meters to our equation. So one divided by negative 0.2, that's gonna give us our answer in diopters. And because it's a negative focal length, we know that this is gonna be a negative lens. We'll grab that calculator. We'll do one divided by 0.2 is equivalent to a five diopter lens. So a negative five. Now, number 12, we are given uh, a focal length in centimeters. So we will need to convert this first because focal length is always in meters. They have given us a negative 33 centimeters. So our first step is to convert this into meters. Then once we have it in meters, we can apply our focal length equation. So my doctor collects millimeters. We have 33 centimeters. We need to go to millimeter to meters, so we're gonna go to the left which means we're gonna move our decimal one spot to the left. That's gonna give us our decimeters. And then another spot to the left is gonna give us 0.33 meters. So now that we have our focal length in meters, we can now apply our equation. So we've got one, divided by 0.33 meters. And again, this is a negative. So we know that our lens is gonna be a negative lens. We just have to figure out what exactly that is. So we go grab that calculator, one divided by 0.33 equals 3.03. Or we would call this three diopters, because we are dealing with 
those uh, regular prescriptions, right? A three, a three and a quarter, uh, 350. So we're gonna uh, find out uh, what is the closest uh, power. So we've got a minus three diopter lens with a focal length of negative 0.33 meters. Hope this helps with your focal length and conversions. Uh, don't be afraid to call if you have any questions. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.